It was a busy summer season on the big railroad. All the engines were busy hauling freight and passengers to their destinations. All the engines enjoyed the work. It was great fun watching so many people filled with joy and happiness make it to where they needed to go. Though the work was difficult at times, the important trains and cargo they carried cheered them up greatly. However, not everyone's day was filled to the brim with smiles and sunshine. One engine in particular despised his work deeply. That train was none other than Doodley. Known for his ghoulish disposition, Doodley was quite the character in the rail yard. Doodley hated playing second fiddle to many of the other trains. Always assigned less than luxurious duties and odd jobs, Doodley hated his work and longed for special jobs that engines like Jeffrey got assigned. However, his bad temper and rude tendencies always landed him right where he didn't want to go, earning him the title of vagrant amongst the other trains. Why do I always have to play second fiddle to you all? You all get special important jobs while I haul coal and cows all the live long day. You haul coal and cows because you always complain. Or always play some sort of dastardly trick. Or cause some sort of accident by tricking us. That's what I mean when I refer to dastardly trick Jeffrey. Oh, well then, yes, quite. Well, those dastardly tricks and deceptions keep me on this railway and gives me purpose. If I didn't give one of you a surprise holiday every once in a while and do your work for you, I'd end up like Dode over there in the shed, rusting away because he has no use. At least Dode is more useful by not derailing us or thundering through stations during harsh weather. Besides, you're far too arrogant and impatient to actually haul one of these trains. Without your tricks backfiring on you, you almost got sent away because of your deeds twice. Well, we will see about that. Good night. Doesn't he know it's midday? Later that evening, the railroad controller came to the train shed to give the trains their train work for the day. Good evening trains. Today I have come here to give you all your train work for the day. Alfred, you will be taking the beachgoers to the beachside today. Splatter, you will be taking the mayor to the castle again. Dick, you will be hauling the boat train as per usual. Jeffrey, you will be hauling a special express later this afternoon. Last, it seems everyone is getting the special jobs today. Neville, you will be hauling the coal cars to the coaling plant. Oh good, at least another engine gets the bad jobs for a change. Then afterwards you will take the king, queen and prince to the royal dining hall, where you will be named Prince of Milwaukee. Oh come on, that's not fair. Why does everyone else get to haul special trains and I get stuck with coal and cows again? Can someone else do it for a change? I would. But don't you remember what happened the last time you hauled a special doodly? Doodly. The rain is flooding the tracks. We must stop before- We'll never stop in time. More steam. Now! Yeah! Well, in my defense, I did save the passengers. But you also did give them immense amounts of emotional damage. And also damaged the coaches, amongst other things. But sir- Now, my destiny is final. Doodly. You are on coal and cow duty once again. I expect no tomfoolery to arise from your actions. Lest there be punishment. Am I correct in my judgment? Yes, sir. Quite. Hey, that's my line. Good. Now I will leave you all to your train work, trains. Good night. And so the railroad controller left the trains in the train shed to get ready for their train oh, work. Oh, come on. Again? Well, 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 doodly. 
Looks like you're not hauling the special trains after all. What a surprise, I say sarcastically. We'll put a sprocket in it, Jeffrey. We all know you're far too agreeable and stuck up to do real work for a change. I bet you're too scared to do even one of my jobs for a day. Scared? Bahumbug, don't make me laugh. I bet I can do one of your jobs without fail, putting you out of work once and for all. You'd probably only be good for scrap work at that rate. If you're so tough and agreeable, why don't we settle it with a little wager? I and you both do the same freight job and see who can do it the best. Whoever wins gets to haul your special train. And whoever loses this wager of ours, they will do the scrap work at the scrap yards. What do you say, Big Red? Don't be silly, doodly. We all already know all about how your little tricks, games, and japes you play work. None of us here are stupid enough to fall for your little stunt, especially Jeffrey here. He's far too smart to accept your wager without asking questions. Deal. What, Jeffrey? You cannot be serious right now. Listen, if this shuts up Doodly for a week and it means we don't have to deal with his vagrant behavior for a whole week, sign me right up. Besides, it's only hauling one little freight run. What's the worst that can happen, am I right? But the worst did happen, and he was wrong. Doodly was already cooking up a devious, dastardly jape as he smirked in the train shed. When all the trains left for their work, Doodly quickly scurried like a rat into the train yards to find dough and splatter the diesel trains working hard twisting and turning the freight cars into shape. Oh, Dode, splatter, my good friends. How does the day find you too? The day finds us exceptionally well, boss. Yes, quite. What can we do for you, bossman? The railroad controller has told me to tell you that you will be having a splendid break at the oil refueling station for the rest of the day. I will handle shunting and pushing trains from here. But that doesn't sound right. The boss man told us to twist and turn the freight cars into shape, not take a break. I will give you both an ice cream party. Sounds good to me. Come on, Doe, to the ice cream vending machine. Yeah. All too easy, said Doodling as he sauntered away. As he ventured deep into the train yard, he found something that caught his eye's attention. A rusty petrol tanker sat idly by, rusting away in the sunshine. It hadn't been used in a long time and sat awaiting repairs by the repair people. Dode and Splatter had moved it out of the way for this very reason, and Doodley knew this. However, Devious Doodley devised his dastardly plan around this disused petrol tanker. Come along, we have a train to catch. Dazed and bemused, the petrol tanker was quickly clanked onto and rolled into the outer train yard. By the time Doodley arranged a few more train cars to cover his tracks of treachery, Jeffrey had come into the yards looking for Doodley to begin their duel. Well, 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 look at who finally showed up. Spend ten hours in the mirror, did ya? Har har. Very funny, Doodley. I didn't come here to listen to your lame excuses and bad puns. I came here to finish our little wager. Now, where's our trains? They are right behind me, aren't they? Ha! Huh, you're kidding me. Those dinky things are what we're hauling. This is easy as a piece of cake. Oh, we'll see how easy it is when you're face first in a filled Jeffrey. What? What? Yeah, I'm just... I'm just going to go now. Phew. That was close. What? Nothing. Ignoring that weird conversation, Doodley finally brought the train cars to the station in star-studded style, as the other trains watched on with cryptic concern and weary worry. I'm feeling a lot of cryptic concern. And I'm feeling tons of weary worry. Worry not, dear brethren. Whatever Doodly does, we'll stay far away from it. I don't know, Doc. Whatever Doodly is planning with those train cars can't be train-tacular for the train yards. Yeah, quite. Dudley's schemes always backfire on him. I don't think whatever is going to happen will affect us in any major or critical function 
And they were right. In Dudley's quick haste and treacherous deception, he had knuckled up to the wrong train cars. Instead of hauling the normal, untainted ones, Doodley was knuckled up to the sabotage train cars. Doodley, of course, didn't notice this, and that would be his critical error. Well, 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 Jeffrey, old boy, are you ready to taste my dust? Har har, in your dreams, Doodley. I'll have this little run of ours done in a jiff. And you'll be taking a whiff of that old scrap iron at the scrap yards quicker than you can honk your horn. Or whistle in your case, but I don't really care enough to change the phrase. Whatever your diesel engine decides, I know I will win by and by. Engines! Start your barks. Get ready. Set. Go! Whoa. By George. They really rocketed and sprocketed out of the train station. They whizzed so fast, I couldn't wonder how fast they whizzed. When whizzing past us, whizzingly. What? Oh man, I can't wait to watch Doodly fail in failing fashion. That will be a sight for that vagrant engine. For us maybe, but since you're the only switcher here, you will have to switch and twitch the freight cars into shape. Don't tell me what to do. You're a very bossy locomotive. After Doodly dies, can we kill him next? Yes! Meanwhile, Doodly and Jeffrey's race was kicking into the third gear. They whizzed and whirred down the train tracks, shocking and clocking anyone they met on the way to the train station number two. Haha. Uh -huh. We'll see how Jeffrey likes living life in the slow lane for once. Doodly darkly danced in his deceptive decadence. As Doodley and Jeffrey thundered and roared past the boars, trouble loomed far ahead, much to Dudley's dastardly dismay. Up the train tracks were a pair of switches. These switches allowed the trains to change the tracks they were traveling on. These train tracks were controlled by a switcher. But not like Billy, like an actual person controlled these tracks. Anyways, these train tracks were controlled by a lever which would change the train's directions. Doodley and Jeffrey knew this. However, the bad fog that had suddenly arrived coupled with the faulty tanker combined with the fact the switcher guy was asleep because of last night's football game spelt a recipe for disaster and not a tasty kind. Doodley rounded the bend and thundered past the signal building. Grizzly and Neville, who were nearby, saw Doodley thunder by and shouted, Take care around here. The signal switcher is asleep. Go slow, Doodley. Go slow. I'm the grand engine. I don't go. With a clang, a bang and a shout and cry, Dooley had fallen from the train tracks heights. It was an awful sound as metal and bone crashed down off the rails and grinded to a sickening halt. Neville and the breakdown cranes arrived with the cr and lifted poor Doodley back onto the train tracks. Doodley was feeling worse for wear and had a less devious disposition after all of this. After he was lifted back onto solid ground, he was whisked away to the train shed to hear his heart's current worst fear. The railroad controller and the other trains in the train sheds located at the train yards. Doodley, what have you done? You have caused a massive wreck at the train yard junctions, causing massive delay and abnormal confusion. Not only that, but you have goaded poor Jeffrey, the victim in all of this, into delaying his special train. Explain yourself. I am sorry, sir. It wasn't my fault. It was Jeffrey's. What? He told me to delay his train and race. Yeah. And Splatter and Dode told me to take these faulty train cars instead of the normal ones. Pardon. Excuse moi. And Jeffrey said this was all Alfred's doing. I say again. What? Which in reality was Neville's. I was barely here today. What do you See? mean? See? I'm innocent. Biel that is it, Doodly. I have had it with your silly reasonings and excuses. Today you have proven yourself to be a less than reliable locomotive in my train fleet. And thus you are banished to the worksheds until further notice. I hope you can learn to be a team player soon. 
or else. Good day. And with that, the railroad controller left everyone in stunned and fearful silence. Even Alfred didn't bother to correct the railroad controller on the proper time of the day. Eventually, after several moments of silence, someone spoke up. Well, doodly. You finally get your special treatment from the controller after all, wouldn't everyone else agree? Yes, yes. Quite. quite. Yeah. I can cut. Oh, my flip, Billy. Be quiet, Do Billy. Stop your yapping from teeth and toes. We need him to switch our trains into shape as I Stop teeth. your yapping from teeth and toes. Okay, fine. Stop your yapping from teeth and toes. Okay, fine. You guys are so oh, bossy. Oh, my flip, Billy. Stop your yapping from teeth and toes. Why don't you just kill him? As the engines conversed peacefully, Doodly sat in silence. I think he knows which voice was speaking to him. And what his failure was in Tadya's ironic twist that no one suspected coming. Don't you? Dear viewer, say yes, it will make me feel better. W-A-I-T. Don't roll credits, I wanted to speak more.